All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Acer Verton L460. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Never seen this model before. Verton L460. Okay, so we're going to need a PH2 and then a big flathead screwdriver. Um, larger one would work better, but uh, that's what we got. So we're going to remove the PH2 screw from the back here. That allows you to slide this cover off just like this. Okay. You have this strap here. Pretty interesting interesting design. And then you have three latches here holding the front panel on. We're going to lift these three latches just like this. You pull them up as you kind of lift it. Then it swings out. You got these cables here. So be careful not to just yank it out. Just pull it out a little bit so you have room to work. All right. Let's go ahead and see what else we got. Looks like the CD drive here. Does it come out? Looks like... There's a latch here, but maybe not. Okay, interesting. Oh, actually, oh, it does come out, okay. So that does pull out, but there is a cable attached there. So you do want to be careful. Hmm. I don't know if I yank that out, if it's gonna be stuck. Okay, then they have this strap here. Does this pull up? This looks like it pulls up as well. Okay, so I don't know if we need to remove this bottom piece. This bottom piece has a giant flathead screw. So we can see if taking this out helps at all. We'll take this screw out. And that does remove this. So this piece comes out very easily just with that. All right, and then let's see if we can lift this whole thing out because we're trying to get to the hard drive here. So we're gonna kind of lift and wiggle. Gotta be a little careful. Wow, this thing actually holds in there pretty strong. I don't know if something else is holding it down. Huh. It's stuck with something. Um, I don't see any screws holding it or anything else. So you can see this piece comes up like that. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. We're pulling this and it's kind of coming up. All right. Huh. Does this slide or wiggle around or anything? No. <clears throat> oh, there's one screw down here. I don't know if you can see that, that black screw in there. So we're going to remove that as well. I was wondering why it wasn't coming out. Um, also using the PH2 screwdriver. So we'll remove that one screw. All right, so there's the black screw we removed. It was down there in that hole. Now we should be able to lift this up. Okay. All right. And then you want to be careful here. All right. So we're going to pull this connector off. Just kind of try and grab it where you can. It helps to kind of wiggle it sideways. There we go. And this one as well. Is there a button? No. Okay. So we're just going to pull that out. And what else? Why did this wireless antenna come out? I have no idea. It wasn't attached to anything. All right. So for some reason that came out. All right. Then we got this connector here for the CD drive. We're going to flip this latch up. All right. I don't know if you saw that. This is a flip latch here. So we flip that and then we got this cable out. All right. And then if you want to remove the CD drive, you have this um, lip lever that you squeeze and then you can use that to help pull it. Just like, oh, my hand was on the back grabbing it. That's why it wouldn't come out. But there we go. Then you can go ahead and slide that out. It comes out just like that. Here's what it looks like. There's two screws here and two screws inside there um, to help mount this in place. Okay. If you need the model number, there it is. All right, we're going to set that aside. What else? We can take a look inside here. We got some RAM, two slots, the only ones being used. We can pull the two tabs aside here and pop that up to get the RAM out if you want to take a look. Um, it looks like, wow, okay, they made this very compact, this SATA connector is in the way, so I'm going to have to actually disconnect this to even get that out, so kind of wiggle this, be careful with this flat ribbon cable here, okay, so you can grab this piece, this cable here, and let's see if we can pull it out, how is it being held in there, it's so tight, in the world, there's no latches or anything, so I don't know what's holding it in, but it's really stuck in there. 
this cable you can pull out more if you want. There's a lot of slack here. But what is holding this down? Come on, let go. There we go. Okay, so we got that connector out. Yeah, there's no button or anything. Okay, we can pull these two tabs to the side. It pops up. We'll get this out. <clears throat> there's a 2 gig stick. DDR2-667. So this is old PC2 DDR2 RAM. Okay, so that's the speed 667, 2 gigs. I'm going to put this back in. Okay, the notches on this side. Then once you get it in, just click it back down. All right, we're going to get this line back up and click that back into place. Here we go. All right, there's also the Bio CMOS battery here connected with that cable there. I'm not going to pull that out. This uh, front panel is connected there. You got this cable going inside as well. Um, okay, so this cable is, oops, sorry. Let me zoom out here. <laughs> this cable here is for the data cable for the um, hard drive. And then this other cable, this one, is the SATA cable, data cable, SATA data cable for the hard drive. This is the power cable, if I confused myself and said the wrong thing. They have a special slot here for another card. This is the wireless card. Um, I don't know why there's only one antenna, but there is only one. Okay, I need to reconnect this to the main wireless <coughs> antenna connection. I don't know why it was popped out, but yeah. All right, so I'll line this back up. And then just click it back down. Come on, go back in. There we go. Click that in. I don't know where all this excess wire is supposed to go. There's so much extra slack. Maybe that's why it got yanked out. Can tuck it in under here, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> and run it around there. All right, there we go. So I just tucked it in there. It looks like this slot kind of acts also like the RAM but it's not a RAM slot. It has the same kind of clips. <clears throat> I'm not sure what kind of slot that is for. You got this rainbow colored wire that's most likely for the fan and plugs in down here. Oh yeah, for both fans. And then they both plug in down there. You got this two, this red and black cable. Um, and that's going into this little reset switch here. And maybe that's a one key recovery button, I don't know. Anyways, I need to test the hard drive real quick, and then I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to reassemble this after that. See you guys in a bit. Alright, I'm back. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this thing back together. So, we'll first put the CD drive back in, so it goes back this way. And then, make sure you put it the right way. You got this. Okay, slides in. And then it has this little metal latch. You can see how it latches in. Okay, so this piece now is behind this metal, so you won't be able to pull it out unless you push this little thing back in by pulling this lever, okay? <clears throat> Anyways, let's go ahead and get these cables back in. can be a little bit tricky. Um, it's hard for me to film this at the right angles because of this, um, so I don't know how I'm going to show this. But anyways, hopefully you guys get the idea. Just get these lined back up. It's hard for me to even do it at this weird position. All right, got that in. And get the other one lined up and get that in. Okay, we got, oops, sorry. We got those both clicked in. Then we have that little ribbon cable. We need to flip this latch back up. Get this line back up in there. Okay, make sure that latch is up. And get that in. Once you get that in, flip that latch back down. Good. And then just drop this back into place. Make sure this thing is out of the way. Okay. So we'll drop this back into place. Okay. Can be a little bit tricky. There we go. Make sure it's lined up right. Get that one screw back down there. Not too sure what's going on with this thing. It's just stuck on the Acer logo. All right. Then to get this back in, you want to get these three little thingies or the bottom clips lined up right. Hopefully you can see that. All right. Line them up and then swing it back over. 
just like that. And now we just get this cover. Make sure you put it with the screw mount in the back. Put that in, line it up, slide it over. Good. We'll get this screw back in just like this. Good. And then we'll switch back over to the flathead screwdriver. Tilt this back up here. Line that back up. Okay. And then just screw that back in. And that's pretty much all there is to this. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, if it did, again, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, and just in case you're wondering how to remove the wireless card, you pull from the tail up just like that. Looks like there's a clip here. Let me see if I can figure this out. It looks spring-loaded. Okay, it looks like you just pull these two back, and then it should pop up. There we go. We can pull this out just like that, and it would go back in, same thing at that angle, and then push it down. I don't know if this had any useful information there, but there you go. Okay, this computer, for some reason, <clears throat> is getting stuck at the Acer logo, so I'm not sure what's going on. I tried disconnecting the cd drive we're trying removing the wireless card now and we'll see what happens but yeah that's it for now thanks for watching see you all in the next one bye this capacitor is inflated the other ones if you can see they're flat they're supposed to be flat like that but this one is inflated i don't know if there's any other issues but definitely that one's bad